Yeah, shining on camera three. Uh, yeah, hold on a second. I'm just bouncing my end. Thank you. Yeah, excuse me. Good going. Uh, player one, now give us your name. Get ready for some fun. Here's question number one. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, dopely then. Player two, it's your turn. 45 seconds. Okay, now, player three, show us what you learned. Consider 30 it done. seconds. Player one, you have the letter Q as your buzzer. That's Q as in quakey. Player two, you have the letter B as in bail, man. Just bail. Player three, to buzz in, hit the letter P as in pain. Hey, maybe if I shave, you won't mistake me for your mother. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Yeah, 20 seconds. Okay, listen up. People screw this up all the time, but it's really, really simple. You're going to get a bunch of questions. If you think you know the answer, buzz in. Then type a one, two, three, or four, whichever answer choice suits you. Or just type in the answer if it's a fill in the blank, all right? Ten seconds. Good luck. Nine, and eight, get rid of the desktop seven, and six, go to black. Five, All right, four, have a good one, everybody. Three. My Little Doppelganger. Also available, My Little Split Personality and My Little Addiction. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Oh, folks, I'd like to welcome you to the game. It's a pleasure to have you here. Thank you for blessing us with your presence. And who gave me decaf? All right, no time for dilly-dally. All right, let's get going by passing out the hardware. Oh, you already know how to screw your neighbor. Well, to hell with the foreplay. Let's go. Player two, take your pick. And this one is possession is nine tenths of the law. One thousand dollars at stake on this one. Okay, class, now that I've got your attention, it's time for Morality 101. Tell me what fairy tale you would learn this lesson from. If you live a destitute and squalid life or just a little bit stupid, steal a person's belongings and You gotta answer it. How do you say, um, no? Player? No, no, hit your buzzer! Okay, I'm gonna murder you now. Jack was stupid enough to exchange his cow for some magic beans. Then when the beanstalk grew, he stole the giant stuff and then shot down the beanstalk, killing him. <laughs> Today, this would be called aggressive career management. Your pick, player two. Okay, give it up for Lay It On Me. Get it right, I'm handing over 2K. Let's rock. While vacationing in Hawaii, you decide to try some food you... Okay, either you're an idiot because you didn't realize I said, come on, I want to lay ya, or you're an idiot because you pick wrong answers on purpose. Huma huma nuka nuka wapu a a. It's a small, brightly colored fish whose name is longer than its entire body. Player three, what looks good to you? Pucker up for religious leaders and other righteous dudes. And you're playing for $3,000 cash money. Suppose you were around Wittenberg, Germany in the early 16th century and you really dug what Martin Luther had to say when he started the Reformation. No, I need a buzzer. Do you hate me? Hit your buzzer. You can do it. Can't sing your praises enough? Let, let me hum it for you. Wrong. Wait, what are you... No, that would be the accident Chelsea Clinton had on the White House balcony. <laughs> Player one, it's yours. According to legend, Martin Luther nailed the 95 theses to the door of All Saints Church in Wittenberg. <laughs> Man, he must have had a lot of brand before he did that. Uh, oh, theses. Oh, yeah. 
I, I thought it was the 95 feces. Player one, your choice. What are we doing? Now serving the facts behind air supply. This one can net you a grand. Okay, listen up and get ready to complete this analogy. Oxygen is to air as celery is to V8. Could your bl gotta buzz in first? Uh, please hit your buzzer. Player. Oh. Yeah, I got your laughing cow pal. <laughs> Player. No, bad. V8 is a blend of different juices, including celery, and air is a blend of 11 gases, including oxygen. <laughs> and in certain parts of New Jersey, they're both equally thick and spicy. Hmm, I wonder what player two is gonna. Be. You don't wanna blow it on Say hello to... Gee, I'm an actor! $2,000 says you don't know this one. Alright, listen up. In the climactic moments of an episode of Melrose Place, Jane, Jake, and Allison all rush out into the courtyard to resolve their love triangle once and for all. Hey, shortcut! Buzz in first! Hmm, the lights are on, but nobody's home. Player one... An isosceles triangle is one with two equal sides and angles. No one in the show is thinking about that, though. Their thoughts are all of vengeance. Player three. Well, looks like this category is Wonder Woman and Haute Couture. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Put it in gear, because here we go. And Wait, gotta buzz in first. Hey, genius, I said buzz in. Player one, for the love of God, buzz in! In your Lycra suit? She's a crime fighter, not a gym instructor. In one of the most ridiculous song lyrics of all time, Wonder Woman is heralded for wearing satin tights fighting for her rights. Because it's important that a woman dress sexy when she's fighting for her rights. Let's have a category, player one. And I believe this one's called... The Wunderbar Wizard for Nuts. How does $2,000 sound? So, did you know that L. Frank Baum was the author of the Oz books? Well, now you do. Buzz in first! No, you gotta buzz in! No, I said buzz in! Hey, Tootie, I said wrong key! Do you hate me? No, Kansas is German for... <laughs> hey, I said... Baum is German for tree. <laughs> Which explains why Toto kept wanting to pee on him during the filming. Player two, give me something. All right, player two, you're up for some major cash here. Player one, player three, go get a drink or something, because player two is going to do a dis or dat. This dis or dat's category name is... Wash your filthy mind out. Okay, here's the bit. I'm gonna read off seven four-letter words, and for each one, I want you to tell me whether it's a pop. Uh, oh, so you already know how to play. Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock then. Let's go in. Time magazine. Life. Lava. Self. Dove. Zest. One more L. That's all of them. Five wrong. Well, in the industry, we call that pretty bad. Let's survey the damage. Hey, maybe you'll start guessing better on the next question. Your call, player three. Hey, that slow and steady wins the race crap. Doesn't fly around here. They know if he is number nine. This little number's known as a name in vain stays mainly in the brain. You get this one right and it's $3,000. Hey, don't you hate when this happens? 
It's your first day working at the Temple of the Norse Goddess of Marriage, and you've already locked yourself out. What's the most appropriate thing for you to say? Buzz in! Buzz in! Hit your buzzer! Hey, Mom, can I have some money for lunch? Player one. Okay, I'm gonna murder you now. No, Bimbo was a young goddess who worked in direct opposition to the Goddess of Marriage. Player, what are you, high? Whoever took my keys can blow me? Cool, hope someone takes my keys. Jeez, someone's trying to make me earn my paycheck. Uh, here's the right answer. <laughs> the Norse goddess of marriage was Frigg, so you have indeed lost your frigging keys. Better pray to the finder of lost things, the goddess face. Category time. Oh yes, it's time for your fantasies to be realized. You're joining a three-way. Okay, listen up. All right, keep your pants on. Well, until we start the three-way. Okay, let's get going. The category for this little number is, I wish they were more than just friends. Okay, fantasies aside, here's your must-see TV three-way. Rachel, Monica, or Phoebe? Here we go. And for goodness sake, be careful. Ow! Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Well, that's all we got to show you. Now clean yourself up while we see how you did. Player one, it seems you're the dominant one here, but your score is looking a little worse for the wear. Let's see our overall standings. Well, it seems to me player one is still whipping some tail in this game. Well, it seems we're moving on now. Let's see what's up next. Okay, either you finished round one or you have another round to go. You know, depending on how you look at these things. Everybody starts out with one. Player one, tell me what's happening. For your enjoyment. Don't bother me, I'm channeling. Get a right answer, you're walking away with four grand. You know, British TV is really boring, especially that English channel. It's like watching the waves come in. No, gotta hit your buzzer. For the love of God, buzz in. No, I said buzz in. Uh, please hit your buzzer. The English Channel connects the Atlantic to the North Sea via the Straits of Dover. The Strait of Gibraltar is down by the Mediterranean. <laughs> Although I bet if you slip the guy a 50, he'll hook you up with all the major ocean channels. Nice work, Player 2. You just screwed yourself. <laughs> player 3, give me some catag- <laughs> This one likes to go by getting lost in the translation. 2,000 bucks for a correct answer. Okay, listen up. Imagine the Greek mathematician Archimedes was your high school principal. Hey, shortcut, buzz in first. No, you got... Slicing them in half? No, that's how you test how old they are by counting their rings. Player one, what do you say? According to Archimedes' principle, the density of an object can be calculated by seeing how much water it displaces in order to measure its volume, then weighing it. I don't think I want to be around when he's inserting the thermometers to find out how cool the kids are. Player one, hit me with the category. Swing your partner one and three. A do si -do for the big third. Open wide and get ready for... What? Rock music will make me deaf? How does $4,000 grab you? Just step up and take a swing at this one. No, no, hit your buzzer! No, bad dog, buzz in! Oh, just can't do anything right, can you? Hey, genius, I said buzz in! Hit your buzzer! 
Jock the monkey. No, don't think Ralph's real enthusiastic about animal testing. Player one. Hey, Tootie, I said wrong. Ralph Nader works to keep American consumers safe, so he'd probably play safety dance on the car radio. <laughs> Ralph doesn't want us to hang out the car windows, but he says we can dance if we want to. <laughs> Player one, it's up to you. What's next? May I introduce Raves Hats and the Next Day's Cleanup for a thousand big ones for a right answer here. All right, listen up. You're making a kid's version of the classic anti-pollution commercial featuring the crying Native American. Since this is for kids, you replace the Native American with a Dr. Seuss character. Based on his past experience with anti-pollution messages... No! I need a buzzer! Do you hate me? Horton, here's a loser. Play for the love of God! Oh, that was nice. The Lorax was a little yellow guy who tried to warn us about the dangers of pollution. <laughs> How do you think those eggs and ham got green in the first place? Player one, gimme category. 15th floor, lingerie, housewares, and useless trivia. Shake hands with... Oh, Henry! And you pocket 2,000 bucks if you get this one. Get ready and see if you can picture this. This how... Gotta buzz in first. Okay, I'm gonna murder you now. Hey, I said buzz in first. What are you... <laughs> Egyptian god of fertility? Sorry, I'm afraid you're shooting blanks. <laughs> the Magi were an ancient cult of Persian priests. Of course, if you buy somebody the Magi, you also have to buy all the Magi accessories. The altar, changeable robes, etc. Player one. Uh-oh, blah, 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 blah. It's time for a conversation. Take a look at your gibberish category. Stay back or I throw the salad. The opening value for this gibberish question is going to be 10K. Now listen up, every second and a half, some of the cash is going to disappear, so if you want to win big, you got to be quick. Okay, get ready to buzz in and tell me with what song lyric does this gibberish phrase rhyme? Found one old tomato, Mom! And remember, don't let the punctuation fool you. First clue, it's from a David Bowie song. No, not that one he did. Take it away, player three, type in your answer. Come on, why do people do this? It's oh, just childish. I'm, that's the last straw, man. I'm not going to stand for this no more. I say cut off their fingers for typing in the naughty words and well, shove them in their mouth and really? sew their lips shut. No, and that's, make them that's the, really harsh. Force them to run them out of town on a rail. Wait, wh why don't we take some cash away first? Or that. Do it, yeah, man. I know, that sucked. L let's change the name. Let's give him a different name. That'll yeah, piss him off. That always works. That's yeah. Gonna... How, how about, uh... Um... All right. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh... Mm. I don't think that's how you spell it. Uh, no. Uh, well, all right. Idiot. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's get back to the game. Why'd you call me? I, no, I was talking to the other guy. Oh. Hey, we got any true contestants here? It's from a David Bowie song about a guy who's out in space. Last clue. Hello, Earth to Tom. Uh, hello? Player two, it's in your car. Type in your answer and hit return. You know, three hints usually does it for most people, but I guess you're special. Found one old tomato mom. Commencing countdown engines on. Found one old tomato mom. Oh. Space Oddity by David Bowie. I hear Ground Control is also looking for Peter Schilling. You know, that guy who wrote the follow-up song, Major Tom Coming Home. <laughs> Player three, tell On the big bayou in Louisiana, quest on 17. 
This category is known as existential snack bath. Hello, we're talking six grand, so pay attention. Okay, imagine this scenario. Psychiatrist Carl Jung is sitting naked. Buzz in, buzz in! No, bad dog, buzz in! Uh, please hit your buzzer! Freud walking in with a spoon? Yeah, you know, sometimes a utensil is not just a utensil. The collective unconscious in Jung's theory is made up of archetypal symbols and images of universal experiences such as death. And it's a little known fact that this idea first occurred to Jung under precisely these circumstances. It's all about you, player. The category? Think when you drink. And get this one right, you got 4K coming your way. So you think you're a party animal, huh? Well, which of these could you pour into a glass and chug and- Wait, gotta buzz in first! Hey, genius, I said buzz in! No, I- Cholesterol is a type of sterol, which is chemically classified as an alcohol. <laughs> you won't get drunk, but you'll be giving your heart one hell of a hangover. Player three, you- Step right up for question 19. The selection is, thanks for ruining the movie for me. Play your cards right, you win 4,000 bucks. All right, imagine this one. You're in a movie theater. Buzz in first. Player uh, could we have the check, please? Player three, make it happen. Yeah, have a little score depletion with your wrong answer. Player one, you can take... No, you gotta... Special delivery, have some bad news for you. Oh, that was a hard one. The movie you're watching is The Elephant Man, the story of John Merrick, a Victorian circus freak with a huge bulbous-shaped noggin. Well, you might not be able to see the movie, but you could laugh really loud during all the sad parts. Your call, players. Question number 20. Well, what do we have here? 40 minutes in line equals fun. One right answer and $6,000 head your way. Hey, you've heard of the Six Flags Magic Mountain theme park, right? Well, if there were a theme park based on Thomas Mann's novel, The Magic... No! Gotta hit your buzzer! Hey, I said buzz in for... Ah, a land of fantasy where answers are never wrong. Thomas Mann's The Magic Mountain takes place in a tuberculosis sanatorium. Your turn, player two, what's it gonna be? Welcome to the Jack Attack. Keep your eyes on the screen, and when you see two words that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right- Ah, you think you know the attack, huh? I got news for you. Not all attacks are equal. Here's your clue. The name behind the band. Let's see what's behind this Jack Attack. Here we go. Player one, you could have done better if you'd never touched the keyboard at all. It's pretty obvious that... You don't know, Jack! You 
beautiful people. I have not seen a show this good since 1950. Uh, never mind, roll the credits. Hey, Raul, are we playing again? I'm a man. Listen, players, if you want to do like a grudge match or something, just let me know when you're ready, all right? Raising a family and seeing what's on cable, a man has to make sure he takes care of himself. That's why I drink man juice for men. Man juice is a natural blend of fresh barley, brewed hops, old spice, bananas fried in butter, and love. Manly love. Oh, honey, I nearly forgot. I also need you to build a sun deck before you leave for work. No problem at all. Not with man juice. Oh, and dear, don't forget about our plans for after the meeting. Oh, honey, I love you and your man juice. Man juice for men. If you're not drinking man juice, then you must be a wuss. I am not a hero. I am not an example to be held up to children. I host a trivia game. I don't know how to solve the world's problems. I do know how many episodes of Police Squad there were. I am not a teacher. I cannot educate the youth of America. I like the word dick sizzle. This really isn't a commercial. It's just me talking about myself. Did I use the dick sizzle thing already? I am not a hero. Does your house smell like ass? Find out what you can do tonight. See what's inside this month's Just For Her magazine. Ten sexy new hairdos. Fat-free entrees. Starve yourself in style. How to tell if he secretly hates you. Twelve tips for a sexy belly button. Five personality traits you should always hide. A token career article. More reasons never to leave the house without makeup. He'll like you if you put your own needs aside. My breasts can defy gravity. Here's how. Yes, you can force him to love you. There's always something to obsess about Just For Her. There's a killer in your house, and it's lurking right under your feet. Learn about killer carpets tonight. Out. Out. Do your thighs sweat and chafe when you walk? Yes. Eliminate chub rub forever with the new cellulite lubricant, Cellulube. It'll grease up your flabby spots. I used to be a supermodel, but now I sell embarrassing personal items. So... Go buy it. Why suffer painful sores and blisters when you wear hot pants? Slide through with Cellulube. With Cellulube, my thighs don't stick together. I can even wear Daisy Dukes. Hey, I have jock itch. Get your own product, buddy. Wait, I'll... Oh, we've got some new players joining us. Well, won't that be exciting? Hey, everybody, we're taking it from the top. 60 seconds. Oh, you shining a little bit, hon. Really? Can we get some powder on you? Can we get some powder on Okay, okay, okay. Thank if you, you guys... Well, you know. Got it, player one. You can go ahead and type in your name. I gotta go pick him up off the set. It's like a ball boy in tennis. Uh, yeah, look, Superman. I promise I won't give away your secret identity. Just type in your name. Cross, grab another pair of pants. Well, if that's your game, then here's your name. Crab meat, spelled with a K, so you know it's not even the good stuff. Player two, hey, why don't we show player one how someone with higher intelligence does this? Go ahead and type out your name. 45 seconds. Player two, quit slacking off and just type in your name. Well, then I'm going to have to think up a name for you, and the only one I can think up off the bat is Dillweed. Okay, player three, I'm not a violent person, but if you don't type in your name, I'm gonna glare. I'm gonna glare you till you wish I would stop glaring. Player three, follow your nose down to the keyboard, take your fingers out of your nose, and type your name. Well, I hope you like being saddled with a lame punchline, Doris HR. Oh, yeah. 30 seconds. You're a peach. Blair 1, your buzzer is the letter Q as in qualm. Blair 2, you have the letter B as in bag. And Blair 3, you are the letter P as in pageantry. Could we have a little less reverb? 20 seconds. 20 seconds. 20 seconds? Ah, oh, crap. All right, um, listen to me. You'd be amazed at how many people screw this up. When a question comes up, if you want it, buzz in first. Then hit one, two, three, or four to pick an answer. 
Real easy. Follow me. Ten seconds. Good luck. Nine. Your money. Eight. Get rid of the desktop, no please. Seven. Six. Let's go to five. Black. One okay, we're rolling. Blue blue Three. Parka. Silver lining tarot center, making the great beyond just a little bit greater. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, don't the three of you look nice today. Move in close. Come on, give me a big smile. Come on. There you go. I'll give you a couple of copies after the game. All right, as we say in the business, let's start. Okay, first off, got to give you your screws. Okay, screws and how to use them. If you want to force your neighbor to answer a question that you know they don't know, buzz in and slap that S key. That's how you screw. At least that's what I've been told. Looks like the little clock on the wall says it's jack time. You have the honors player too. This one's called, The Playground Ain't Big Enough for the Both of Us. Looks like this one's going for a thousand bucks. You know, kids at school can be really horrible to other kids with problems. Why would the kid at school who suffers from gynecomastia be teased? No, I need a buzzer! Okay, I'm gonna murder you now. Gotta answer it, player two. A condition in which a man grows breasts is called gynecomastia. And all his friends call him he booby. First rule, player one, be careful who you screw or it'll come back to haunt you. Player two. Coming at you, magazines you keep under your bed. And it's worth $2,000 if you get this one right. Hear this? Let's see if you can guess what I'm holding in my hand. Hit your buzzer and type in your answer when you figure it out. It's a copy of a popular adolescent magazine known for its satire. That guy Don Martin used to draw for them. Every issue features a funny looking guy on the cover. You know, the janitor in the white coverall, Sylvester P. Smythe. Oh, come on, you gotta know what magazine I'm holding now. Show us how it's done, player three. Huh? <laughs> Go for it, player two. Type in your in Hey, not everybody can be right, just the winners. <laughs> player one, it's uh, Um, no. <laughs> Here's what you should have typed in. Oh, sure, there are other magazines that have takeoffs of movies and TV, and there are others that once featured the artwork of Don Martin, but only Cracked has that lovable custodian Sylvester P. Smythe. Or do you say Smith? Cracked is also the only magazine that hasn't tried to produce a really mediocre live TV show. Let's have a cat again. Whoa, players two and three, take a breather, cause player one is about to take off in a diss or dat. The category for this diss or dad is... Wait, this isn't spaghetti, it's worms! Okay, for each of the... Okay, maestro, if you think you know the rules, I'll go ahead and put 30 seconds on the clock. And we're off! Macaroni pie! Rotini! Trigonella! Flink! Spirochete! Salmonella! This is it! That's all of them. You missed four of them. Can't be proud of that. The report card says room for improvement. And hey, no time like the present. Layer three, what looks good to you? You can't stop at three. No, you gotta have four. Yeah. Here we have what wine goes with a wooden steak? $2,000 says you don't know this one. Okay, this will teach you never to date on a full moon. Imagine this scenario. You're out at the bar. 
You'll want to put some ice on that. Wait. Buzz in! Buzz in! Hit your buzzer! You can do it! Hey, Tootie, I said- Coors Light is the silver bullet. Just what you need to kill a werewolf. <laughs> Rumor has it, kill the beast without killing your buzz didn't test well as a tagline. Player one, tell me- you, my friend, better start getting comfortable, cause this one could get steamy. You're joining in on a three-way. Okay, let me briefly exp- oh, Alrighty, no foreplay it is. Let me guess, you're not the slow romantic kind of lover. Well, you asked for it, here it is. Category for this one is Interpreting the Simpsons. Which means we're gonna be using the three-way of Bart, Lisa, and Maggie. Looks like this is it. Here's your three-way. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! That's all! Now catch your breath while we see how you did. Player 2, somehow you won this round with a really pathetic score. Don't tell me, you're just playing hard to get. Well, let's take a look at the overall scores. Player 2, you're still in control of the game. Very impressive. So, let's see what we've got ahead of us here. Your pick, Player 2. Well, the good news is, you're still alive. Bad news, you just picked an impossible question. The category is, it's a dog. And let's see, this one's only worth uh, $20,000. Better start massaging your brain cells, because here comes a really impossible question. So pay attention and don't get fooled. What has four legs, a tail, and bark? Gotta buzz in first. Whale? No, if it were a whale, I would have asked what has four legs, a tail, and a blowhole. Duh. Wipe the sweat off your brow, you got it. A dog has four legs, a tail, and barks. <laughs> Don't you wish your SATs were this easy? Player one. Fine, you want to get to the attack? Consider it done. You may need this clue. Smurf accessories. Well, I'm sure those are cute. If you really like blue. Anyway, good luck. taught those other two a lesson today, didn't you? Now, if you could just explain what they're doing hanging out with you, I'd be really impressed. In the meantime, keep telling yourself... You don't know that. Beautiful! Very nice work, people. Hey, Raul, what's up? Are we doing another one of these?
Hey, if you'd like to play another game, you just let me know when you're ready, alrighty? Alrighty. Buster's Bait Shop. Master baiters since 1923. This morning on the Asylum. Hello? Yes, is this Mrs. Forsythe? Yes, it is. This is Principal Warga. I'm afraid I've got some bad news about your son, Timmy, in the fourth grade. What? I'm afraid he died at school this morning. What? Timmy? Yeah, he, he oh died of a God. severe wedgie. <laughs> He's so bad. <laughs> yeah, the autopsy wow. show he also <laughs> suffered from repeated wet willies. <laughs> what? Who is this? Who? Looks like Principal little Warga? Timmy's mother's a bit pissed. Well, pissed. I'm the one who should be pissed. You <laughs> wouldn't let me finish the joke. Oh, you guys oh, are, are you so people? crazy. 109.7 WEOB. The Asylum, weekday mornings from 7 to 11. This week on Zenora, Queen of Battle, a city is under siege. Ah, battle makes me so tense. Here, let me rub your shoulders. And hope is running out. Ugh, my breastplate is stuck. Here, Zenora, let me help you. All on the next Zenora. <laughs> Trumps love dogs. This week on Zenora, Queen of Battle, a journey is undertaken. Here, Janelle, we can bathe in this hot spring. And there's room for both of us. And Janelle is wounded. Ow! My inner thigh! Here, let me rub some ointment on that. All on the next Zenora. Johnson, that presentation was awful! I want to see you in my office, pronto! I don't get it, Phil. My thinking on that presentation was sound. Your thinking was sound? It's your hair. My hair? It looks like you combed it with a fried chicken leg. I can't help it. It's my overactive sebaceous glands. Don't worry, there's help. Have you heard of Squirt 2000? Squirt 2000? It's a shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and moisturizer all in one. Sounds good, but the boss wants to see me right now. Here, use mine. You carry a bottle on you? Well, Squirt 2000 is also a refreshing sports Drink. I'll be in the bathroom. Hey, Johnson, how'd the meeting with the boss go? I think it went okay. Hey, Johnson, I like the way you think. Thanks, sir. But more importantly, I like your hair. Squirt 2000, when you really need nice hair. We're in Arthur Daniels Heartland Company. We make the Illuminati look like Cub Scouts. Mommy, is Fluffy living with God now? Yes, honey, he is. Let Heavenly Critters Pet Cemetery be there for you in your time of need. Call 1-800-293-7768 and ask about our unique pre-need funeral planning services. That's 1-800-BUY-SPOT. Mommy, do they have squeaky toys in heaven? I'm sure they do. Heavenly Critters Pet Cemetery. For those times when your love doesn't fit in a shoebox. This week on Zenora, Queen of Battle, a plan is hatched. Zenora, what should we do? We'll have to make them think we're enemies. Quick, fake a cat fight. Ah, my hair! And a friendship is strengthened. That cat fight got me so dusty. Here, let me give you a sponge bath. All on the next Zenora.